do you honestly think that Malcolm Turnbull is after Tony Abbott's job? Well, of course he's not. He's not that stupid. The one thing you can say about Malcolm Turnbull, he's not stupid. He certainly wants the job. He'd certainly be looking at a situation where uh, the popularity of Tony Abbott that's never been high is now probably lower than it's ever been. The government's behind in the polls. In the back of his mind, he'd be thinking, well, this could be my opportunity. He wants to be prime minister, but he's not actively seeking the job because he knows if he goes out and actively seeks it, that is going to kill off any chance he's got of getting it. So but what's happened here... Where's his support in the party room anyway? He doesn't have it. There. But Yeah, he doesn't have it. But what he's also seen is someone like Kevin Rudd, who had no support, he became leader. He knows people become leaders if they think they're their only chance of turning their political fortunes around. But what has happened within the last few days is he's been silly enough to take the bait. A few people have been baiting him, talking about his, uh, you know, trying to his, blame his him. His dinner with Clive Palmer. Yeah, his dinner with Clive Palmer, trying to draw conclusions. Andrew Bolt suggesting he might be after he, he, uh, Tony Abbott's job. And silly Malcolm, and this is where I've said he was intelligent, but in this case he's done a silly thing. He's taken the bait. The ego's taken over. He's slammed Andrew Bolt. He's put this thing right into the forefront of political discussion. And I think he's turned himself into the issue. The difficulty is this whole sideshow revolves around Clive Palmer, who's now come out and launched a, a, an un, unforgivable attack on Tony Abbott's chief of staff. This is the bloke they need to get their legislation through the parliament. I don't think, uh, A, Turnbull's attack was all that bad anyway. I think he's got a right to go out and defend himself. He knows he's not going to become Prime Minister, and deep down he knows he will never become Prime Minister because he doesn't have the support in the Liberal Party room to get him across the line. It won't happen. It will not happen in this term or the next term. There will be no challenge. Yeah, well, we know that. He cannot but muster we know the numbers. That, but the bigger issue so he has here, a right yeah. to go out and no, defend his no, name no, and say that he wasn't no, politicking no. and he wasn't having dinner. Yeah. So what? It's, yeah. Everyone's yeah. lining up in the Liberal Party right now because their favourite topic and their favourite habit is to give Malcolm a kicking. And they can't wait to get involved. Christopher Pine, yeah. Bernardi, they're all there. And they're all lining up now because it's good to give him a nice well, because, swift kick. Because Malcolm's given them the opportunity. He didn't need to do it. It was a real miscalculation from him. But let's not, let's not move away from the real issue. The real issue and the Malcolm issue, he's not going to become leader of the party. But the real issue is that the government's in political trouble. It's got a Senate that it has to deal with. Clive Palmer controls the numbers in the Senate. The government can't go to a double dissolution because they're behind in the polls. So they've got to deal with Clive Palmer. And here he is launching, uh, as I say, unforgivable attacks on uh, Peter Credlam, the, the, opposition, the, the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, talking about uh, her having undue influence on the government and really creating an awkward situation for Tony Abbott because he has to defend her. What he said is unacceptable, but he's a law unto himself. And we're three and a half weeks away from the new Senate sitting. Uh, we've got people who like cars, this small car enthusiast party. Uh, Muir, who is about to take his new seat, we haven't heard a word from him. Yep. He won't say anything. We don't know where he stands. And we're three weeks away from well, a Clive very delicate time in this Clive political Palmer history. Clive Palmer owns him. Clive Palmer's got him in un under his control. Clive's got the other three senators that were elected under his umbrella. He's got four people in the Senate. He controls their votes at the moment. Uh, my advice to the government, and I'm sure they're thinking this way, they need to get to those four people and try and talk some sense to them because uh, at the moment the puppet master seems beyond any rational thought, Clive Palmer.